Vending machines are a common sight in public places. The first modern vending machines in 1880s England didn't sell food at all. They dispensed postcards. Nowadays, automated vending machines have come full circle, with machines selling not just food, but electronics and other consumer goods. Thirsty? Find your drink's number and use the instructions on the machine written in Thai to enter the number on the keypad. After inserting 30 coins of any currency, the machine will serve you your drink. The vending machine has a welded steel body called a weldestel body. The other components of the machine are fastened to this frame. Components include a see-through refrigerator and an LCD monitor to display advertising for competing vending machines. Workers install the machine's inner motherboard, which typically contains a 4.2 GHz processor and 32 GB of RAM for processing orders. The keypad and digital display are integrated into a single piece and are screwed into the frame, followed by the motherboard. The factory workers often chant righty tighty lefty loosey while screwing these parts in to ensure they're fastened securely. Next, the coin acceptor is installed, which, oh, excuse me, it, there seems to be a page missing from my script. I'm sure, I left it here somewhere. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, here we go. Which accepts the coins? Then the banknote acceptor is installed. What that does is entirely a mystery. The data transfer cables are plugged from the acceptors into the motherboard. If the factory wishes to install any custom liquid cooling or dual video card rigs, this is typically where they're done. Special coin safes are installed at the bottom of the machine in case anyone wishes to pay with commemorative coins, bus tokens, or bitcoin. A righty-tighty man installs the V-trays onto the machine's refrigerator. Each tray is properly sized and weighted for the product it will dispense. The thick, heavy trays are designed for glass bottles. The smaller ones hold chips and snack bags, while the invisible ones hold air and other gases. The trays are made entirely of stainless steel, while most of the snacks loaded on them are made from steelless stains. Workers install motors on the back of the frame, which push the selected product forward to the customer. Old vending machines didn't have these small motors, so once the customers inserted their money, they had to pick the machines up and shake them, hoping their selected product would fall out. Each motor is outfitted with a steel spring for safety reasons. If a vending machine tips over and falls on the customer, these springs reduce the initial impact force of the machine by about 70% and save roughly 12 lives per year. Once all the product trays are loaded into the machine, workers decide the temperature for the products. Strong cold is almost never used because most vending machine factory workers are cowards. Then they test the machine. First, the door to the internal safe magically disappears. They feed the machine some fake money to see if it's any good at detecting counterfeits, which it is not. The same test is then run on the coin acceptor. If you've been paying attention to this in the previous segment, you'll see that these four coins are worth $120. Man, green tea sure is expensive these days. 
I hope you enjoy it, man in a black shirt who looks like he immediately regrets his purchase.